All right, guys. So, at the time of this recording, I have spent a lot of time on the Battlefield 5 beta. I have spent a lot of time using the, the main guns that you start with, as well as playing a lot of Conquest in the Grand Operations. Now, in Battlefield 5 Beta, you have two Conquest maps and the Grand Operations mode. And I have to say, from not only that, but watching videos, this game is set up to be an amazing Battlefield game. Playing this beta actually makes me hyped for Battle Royale, side note. But let me get into this video. So, um, I... I noticed, you know, when I first started playing, the classes are kind of weird, squad system's kind of weird, fortification's kind of weird, but this game shows something, and it's something that I think a lot of games either get wrong one way or wrong the other way, and that is creativity plus roots equals awesome. That's the title of this video. And what I mean by that is, let's say, let's say, uh, there's, for example, a computer mouse, right? I come up with a computer mouse design, and everyone likes it because it fits on their hand. I'm not going to change the way it fits on their hand because they like it, but they say, hey, it's not sensitive enough, so I make it more sensitive. Battlefield, Battlefield 5 is a great example. The gameplay of Battlefield 1 was really, really good, but it didn't feel like World War One. The weapon customization was meh and you didn't feel unique in that game so what happens in this game you can freaking make yourself extremely unique in this game like with your gear already in the beta alone i feel like every single soldier already their their roles are defined and they're not they're not even in the main game like you can change your specialization within that class. They don't even have that, and the soldiers already all different classes play differently. Very nice. You can build stuff. That fortification mechanic, I love so much. I love that. I hated it at first, but now... I mean, my friend Fuse and I, who were playing the other day on the... Um, what do they call that map? Arctic Fjord Grand Operations Day 2, and we got to that point where you can build that trench, and he was playing support, and I was playing sniper, and I was covering him while he was building the trench. We didn't have to build the trench. Honestly, it was a stupid idea, but we wanted to do it, and it was cool. I like it. I don't necessarily know how it would work if it was um, custom building, like you got to build wherever you want. I don't know if that would work well or not. Um, I don't know. They might They might try that out, but it just works really, really well. I like it. And weapon customization. I don't get why you can't um, buy... Like, you know how the, the thing like splits off into two trees? I don't get why you can't buy both trees and just swap like your perks around. I don't get why you can't do that. But the weapons, the, the more you upgrade them, they're unique, right? They, it, it shows that you don't need visual customization on your weapon, like a foregrip for the Sten for recoil. You don't need that. But, along with that upgrade system, they added their customization system, letting you customize the pieces of the guns. I like that system. I like it a lot. I also like, um, just overall, the way that it makes you feel. It makes you feel, when they advertise, okay, the first trailer was a piece of crap. No one liked Claw Lady. No one liked the trailer. The second trailer, where they go, where they showed off, you get to play the way that you want to play, you get to customize your troops the way you want to do it, is very apparent in this beta. All right, you get to play any way that you want, any way that you can uh, like get because you got unlock crap. If you work hard, you get to play however you want, and we're going to let you do that, and it's great. Also, a side note, I really like that tanks have limit and bombers and planes have limited ammo. I wish it was... Like, I don't know why, I didn't know I wanted that at first, but noticing that, it makes me think more about the things that I use, and I think it makes it so tanks aren't as overpowered as they used to be in the other games. Side note, but overall, I think this beta really shows that, you know, the grassroots gameplay is there. Squad mechanics, right, in terms of conquest, the objectives 
taking tickets. Um, the battlefield mechanics of a big map with a destructible environment, and multiple pathways, you know, those are all there. And they it seems to me as though they put that in their game first and built around it. And I really think that that shows that DICE cares about this game. I am, you know, I was, I was kind of looking forward to Battlefield 5. They showed the trailer of customization. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And playing the beta... I don't feel lied to like a lot of other game trailers make you feel. I feel like the game trailer for this game is very genuine. The second one, the first one, I don't know, we haven't played Combined Arms yet. And I'm really looking forward to this game. I'm excited. I'm happy. Like, I gen- this- this- I don't say this very often with a lot of games. I genuinely feel like DICE actually care about this game. I feel- I feel like, um... The one dude, you know, got fired, whatever, they're retired or quit or whatever. But I feel like overall the game devs care that we want an, like a, a good Battlefield experience. And I think that this game is really going to bring a good Battlefield experience. Just based on what I've played so far and the creativity behind this game. Like, I love it. I, I, I'm, I'm happy... I'm just happy with it. That's all I could say is I am happy with this game and what it is bringing me. The beta alone. It's amazing. All the little details. It's great. So that's what I have to say about the Battlefield 5 beta, guys. And I, I mean, like, I'm going to enjoy it more. Uh, all the metas and stuff. I don't want to talk about weapon balancing or metas because it's a beta. Those are obviously going to change. But with that... Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.